Hey everybody, EBA420 here, and today I'm going to show you a quick way to control your desktop remotely using free applications. Uh, first, let's download Real VNC from the link provided in the description and save it to your desktop, and now install it as shown. Choose only to install the server, and I prefer not to have too many services running in the background, so uncheck the two checkboxes that have to do with that, and then complete the install. Now when it's installed, find Real VNC in the Start menu and select the User Mode folder and configure User Mode settings. The only thing we really need to do in here is configure a password if you wish, but for simplicity I'm going to leave it with no authentication for now. Now go back to the same folder in the Start menu and select Run VNC Server. If the Windows firewall stops you, choose to unblock it as shown, and if you don't receive the pop-up or your program doesn't seem to connect, you can manually add the program as a firewall exception by navigating as shown. Now let's jump over to the iPod. Find your app store and launch it. Then choose the search feature and type VNC and then it should uh, suggest some choices for you. And choose Mocha VNC Lite. Now select the free version as shown, and now install the application. Then after it goes through installing, then you'll see the VNC icon appear on your springboard. Now before we run it, let's jump back over to Windows for a moment. We need your PC's current local IP address, and to get that, open a command prompt as shown and enter the command ipconfig and press enter. The information displayed will look something like this, and you are looking for your local IP address. Now let's go back to the iPod and run the VNC application. Now press the big orange power button and enter the IP we just found on your PC using ipconfig. And after you're done entering that, scroll down to the password field. And even though we set no authentication, this program requires you to enter in a pound sign to in indicate that no password is required. And after that, go ahead and click the connect button at the top right, and in a moment you should be looking at your PC's desktop. Now if you hit the home button and close the app, you'll notice that when you reopen it, you don't have to enter in all that info again. Just simply hit the orange button to reconnect. And if you have multiple PCs that you're trying to connect to, uh, you can go ahead and store as many uh, different IP addresses uh, in there for quick access as you want. And now you can tap an icon on your iPod uh, just as if you were clicking it with your mouse and it will go ahead and open right on your PC. Uh, clicking with your finger works just like clicking with your mouse. Uh, double taps with your finger would be the same as a double click with your mouse. Uh, you can also access a keyboard by the icon on the bottom of the screen and any settings are in the menu as well. And then when I'm all done, I like to close VNC server so it's not running for no reason if I'm not going to use it, but that's personal preference. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy this useful tool and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you as always and enjoy.